My parents were passionate travelers. Little did they know when they started Baxter Media and a little magazine called Canadian Travel Press in 1968, we would end up as the chroniclers of the travel industry. Often, we don't take the time to reflect on it, but we're all a part of something that has grown bigger and faster than any of us thought was possible. For over 55 years, we've been living through a revolution that happened right before our eyes. The turmoil of the 60s. Mankind walking on the moon. The freestyle 70s. The Cold War of the 80s. Tearing down the wall. Phones in your cars and in your pockets. The dawn of the internet. And smoking was allowed on airplanes. What if some of the iconic voices of Canada's travel industry shared their memories of what it was like to live through the industry's highs and lows over the past 55 years? Those were the days when life was far simpler and this country's travel industry was in its infancy. Tickets and itineraries were handwritten or typed. It was just part of everyday life. You know, we've come a long way since our first issue 55 years ago. The faces. The places. The cases. It was a time of resilience and strength starting with just a handful of accredited travel agencies and their confidential tariffs. To the birth of the package tour and the explosion of technology, the deregulation of the airline industry, the discovery of new destinations, the friction between agent and supplier, flights, trains, cruises, and the battle for the hearts and minds of Canadian travelers. What a ride! And Canadian Travel Press has been there to tell the industry story. But if you listen closely, you'll hear the voices of travel with some never-before-told stories of the history of the Canadian travel industry.